Hi, I'm Trevin Krauss from the Zell Lifting Technologies, and today I'm going to show you how to properly inspect a synthetic round sling as well as extend the life of the sling. This is a polyester synthetic round sling. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to refer to it as a round sling. The principles of this inspection process do not necessarily apply to chain slings, wire rope slings, or any other sling for that matter. Later on, I'm going to show you some best practices to extend the life of this rigging system, but first, I want to take you through a basic yet essential part of using it, inspection. Through the life of the sling, and others like it, you'll put it through three inspections. Initial inspection, when you first receive the round sling. Frequent inspection, each time the round sling is used. And finally, a periodic inspection, or the annual inspection, to ensure the synthetic round sling is still safe to use after an extended period of time in service. Let's unpack these a little and start with the initial inspection. Upon receiving your initial shipment, it is important that you double check the sling tag to ensure the proper sling was ordered that meets the specifications for your project. Maybe you ordered the sling for a specific lift plan, or maybe it was ordered a specific length to take into account center of gravity. Regardless, as part of your initial inspection, you want to make sure the sling is exactly what you ordered. Your frequent inspection. Now prior to use, and prior to change in application, meaning if you were to use the sling to pick one item and move on to another item to pick, the designated person on your site or the hand using the sling should inspect for the following things. First locate the sling tag and confirm it is intact and legible. Ensure all the sling tag specifications meet the current job's lifting requirements. Don't use the wrong sling for the wrong working load limit. Inspecting a synthetic round sling is visual as well as hands-on. Per ASME B39 guidelines, we are looking for cuts, holes, tears, abrasion that exposes the load bearing fiber. Remember, the internal strands of the sling are actually what support the load, not the jacket, which functions as a cover. Look for weld splatter, chemical and caustic burns, stiffness to the jacket that may be indicative of chemical or ultraviolet damage. If a synthetic sling is exposed to the sun's rays for a long period of time, the jacket color will fade and potentially start to turn white. Remove the sling from service if you see this, as UV degradation can exponentially decrease the ultimate strength of your sling. For instance, if you look at this purple jacket, if I were to leave it on a job site and was exposed to UV rays and say I'd come back in six months and start to turn white, that would most likely be indicative of UV ray exposure and potentially degradation. You also want to do a hand-over-hand -hand inspection of the sling. You're feeling for any void space where potentially the low bearing fiber had severed internally. You're also feeling for a bunching or knotting of the load bearing fiber, which may be indicative that the sling was exposed to a shock load. While doing your hand over hand inspection, you will feel the splice point of the sling and potentially smaller splices rotating throughout the sling. Do not be alarmed by this. This is natural for a round sling. The load bearing fiber is going to th rotate throughout the body of the sling. I get it, work needs to be done one way or another. But if you feel something or see something that causes doubt, remove the sling from service. It's not worth the risk or endangering somebody's life. Periodic inspections are important because they keep your entire team surrounded by quality gear. These inspections are performed by a professional service provider or by an internal safety team. They'll look for frequency of use, severity of service conditions, they'll look at the way other slings performed in similar situations to gauge condition. With the proper training to inspect your synthetic round slings, it's important to use that information to remove unsafe slings from service immediately and contact us for replacement. Damage to the inner thread core of the synthetic round sling can lead to a dangerous lifting situation. A simple rule to follow is, when in doubt, throw it out your safety will always be a primary concern. During frequent inspections, notify your safety advisor of the damages you discover. Record and retain those damages for your records. Place damaged slings or slings that meet removal criteria in quarantine for review. We pride ourselves on providing the best and safest products for our customers. Our internal QC policies ensure that we keep you stocked with properly inspected and safety cleared equipment. And ASME B39, those safety standards ensure that you're safe out in the field with quality gear. Your knowledge of the inspection criteria from B39, which we just covered, 
is the best defense against any issue out in the field with the synthetic ground sling. Inspecting your slings for damage is the best way to keep everybody on your site safe. However, there are some steps you can take to maintain your gear when it's not in service. Take care of your gear and your gear will take care of you. It's as simple as it sounds. Keep your slings out of the mud, extreme temperatures, and exposure to the sun when not in use. Hang it up and don't bunch it up and toss it aside until you need it. Water and oil can affect the slings as well. Driving on them obviously can damage them. Keep in mind you are planning to lift valuable and expensive equipment. If there were to be a failure, not only could it jeopardize the job, but it could jeopardize the lives of everybody on site. I hope we were able to teach you about inspection criteria for your polyester round slings, as well as preventative maintenance to keep you safe out on the job site. If you're going to be working with Twin Path synthetic round slings, definitely click through to see that video since there are some big differences between the Twin Path and the polyester round sling. Mazel Lifting Technologies is always here to provide additional training and or consultation on inspections if questions ever arise. Your safety is our primary concern and we ask that you plan every lift and call us instead of guessing. I'm Trevin Krauss, thanks for watching.